campus is really not the high school. It's an off-campus location, the Maury County Municipal Stadium here in Columbia, about a half a mile from the high school. Lebanon High School is coached by Mark Medley. Mark Medley picked up his 50th win at Lebanon High School last week. He's 50 and, 50, he's 50 and 15 at LHS. That's a winning percentage of 769. The Blue Devils are 27 and 6 on the road under coach Mark Medley. He's a graduate of Gordonsville High School and Tennessee Tech University. Columbia Central is coached by Don, excuse me, Dan Bland. He's 11 and 7 at Columbia. Last year he was 5 and 5. Career rise 122 and 79. He's coached at Jackson Central Mary, Knoxville Farragut, and at Tullahoma High School. We are ready to go down to the field for the toss of the coin. John Bryan will be handling our field duties for us once again tonight with that portable microphone system, courtesy of Glennis Video. And we'll be heading it out there to John in just a moment. Our officials for tonight, apparently these gentlemen have some SEC and Ohio Valley Conference experience. Al John Towery is the referee, Al Simmons is the umpire, George Barfield is the head linesman, line judge is George Haley, the back judge Ray Street, the clock operator is Greg Smith. And let's take it down to the field for John and the toss of the coin, Lebanon's captain, Zach Dirksen, Jeff Ashley. Cunningham, Kendall, Dirksen, and Ashley. Gentlemen, good to meet y'all. Over here, we got Captain Freer and Captain Williams. And our umpire tonight is Mr. Al Cinnamon. Gentlemen, you are the captains of team responsibility. White, purple. And if I get excited, I might say gold, okay? Now the ambition team, when I holler for Captain White, I want you to come to me. I'll explain the play situation, give you the options. If you don't understand me, ask me again. But once you tell me your answer, that's it. Same way with you. When I call for a purple captain, I want somebody to come to me and let's talk about it. I'll explain it. If you don't understand me, ask me again. But once you make your decision, it's final, it's final. You're the best in Team White. I've got a coin tails heads. We're going to flip it. One of you gentlemen are going to call it in the air. And if I drop it, we'll do it again. You ready? OK, let's go. Heads. Heads. Tails it is, Captain. You won the toss. Uh, we like to uh, defer this. You want to defer, excuse me. This man right here? No. No, I have to be your choice. You want to kick? So the Blue Devils once again lose the toss as, as Columbia wins the toss. They elect to defer to start the second half. Lebanon will receive, apparently going on offense, Lebanon, Lebanon working out of the south end zone. Blue Devils working out of the south end zone dressed in solid white. Chad Cunningham, Carlos Kendall, Jeff Ashley, and Zach Dirksen are captains tonight. Here's that starting offense for the Blue Devils. Damon Stone will start at a split receiver position. Landon Dunaway will start at a tackle. Jeff Ashley will start at left guard. The center is Scott Wortman. The right guard is Michael Brindley. The right tackle is Steve Sanders. The tight end is Chavez Job. Jade Sellers will start at the slot back position. Greg Triplett, the quarterback. Zach Dirks in the fullback. Zach Manier is the tailback. Deep in twin safeties for the Blue Devils. We've got Zach Manier and Tyson Neal to kick it off for Columbia. We've got Greg Burke. And here with a play-by-play call of tonight's Lebanon-Columbia game, the voice of Blue Devil football, Bruce Ski. All right, Tommy, it is cleared off in Columbia. No rain to feel a little so soggy and muddy, but Burke will kick off. Standing deep, Neal on the five and Zach Manier on the five. Burke will come forward. Kicks from the left hash mark. Lebanon all in white. And Columbia Wildcats in purple. And goal numbers and a short kick will go straight up in the air. And Rose will take it on the 24 to the 25 to the 30 to the 35 to the 40 to the 45 to the 50 to the 48 to the 47 of Columbia. Steve Rose took that football on the 24-yard line and brought it back all the way to in Columbia territory. They'll actually spot it on the 48-yard line. The return by Steve Rose, the junior, 
as Rose First getting a chance to get his hands on the football early. We are situated at the 50-yard line. Levin with a slot left, tripped it to quarterback, takes it, runs that inside trap to Sellers. Sellers powers his way across to the 45, across the 40, all the way to the 36. Somebody hit him on a 40. Five, he got loose and went all the way to the 36 and got a first down and picked up about 12 yards. First and 10, Blue Devils. First down and 10 is the idea of Coach Mark Medley is to try to get Jade Sellers a little more involved in the offense. Don't be surprised if we see Sellers get quite a few carries tonight. We look at Columbia's defense and they'll line up in the 50. Take the ball, we run our fullback, didn't get much. He got a yard to the 35. Dirksen got hit and knocked down on the 35 and got a yard. And it's second and nine. Is Lebanon heads from the south end zone second to the north the in the 35. first quarter with the 10 minutes and 58 seconds to play. DeMond Stone brings the play in. Call on the 35 on a night where it looked like it was going to rain all night, but the Clouds have kind of cleared away at the moment. Take the ball. We run off left tackle. Manier got a little room. He got five. He got ten. He got a first down. He crossed the 25, got to the 24. Zach Manier got barely hit at the line of scrimmage, then worked his way all the way to the 24. I believe they'll spot it on the 24. Nice run. Zach Manier, Ledman's driving on Columbia. Let's come on the tackle for the Lions. First down and 10 on the Columbia 24-yard line. Ball is on the 20. Four-yard line, we come with a wide slot right this time. We send Mo Thompson to the wide out. We run it up the middle. Dirksen powers his way for five yards as he crossed the 20 and got to the 18 and got knocked down. He got hit at the line of scrimmage, would not go down, just kept on turning his legs and moving. He got six yards out of that, six and a half maybe. As he got close to the, the well, they're going to spot it on the 18-yard line. Dirksen, big run up the middle. Power eye offense in the game for the Blue Devils. Kendall checks in at tight end. Marlowe C and Rose the fullback. Columbia jumps up in a six-man front. We run a power eye. I think we move. We didn't get set that full second, Tommy. Our linemen were going down when we snapped the ball. We were going on a quick count, I believe, and we had people going down when the snap was there, so we'll lose that big gain, and they'll penalize us five. Back from the 18, should come back to the 23. I want to say a special thanks back in Lebanon to Larry Stafford, our own gadget guru, for fine-tuning some of our broadcast equipment during the week, making it possible to get this broadcast on the air. Ball is on, uh, actually, I think, second between the 23 and 22, and it's second down, and we'll call it a long seven. Lebanon in a power eye again. We take it, run it up the middle, won't get much. Got a yard, maybe a yard and a half. Got close to the 20, the, the, or the 21's where they're going to spot it. Is went in a power eye, the and now we're looking at third down, and let's call it third down and seven. Third and seven, Blue Devils. Third down and eight at the Maybe a passing line. situation. Chavez, some problems with his contact lenses, has uh, broken out one of those shields over his eyes tonight. Slot right, wide out over here to the right. We're going no play, I think. Timeout, Lebanon. We'll take a 30-second timeout, too. We'll go back to the station. There's no score. 30-second timeout. Hey, Brian, with you as the Lebanon High Blue Devils are playing Columbia Central. Ninth game of the season, and Terry on the way down here. Bruce, so I, once we got here, Bruce told me that 30 years ago, Lebanon came to Columbia to play these guys in the ninth game of the year, and a defensive back by the name of Bruce Skeen intercepted five passes. How many years ago was that, Tommy? <laughs> exactly? 30. 30 years ago. That has been a while. Inside trap, Sellers. Sellers got five. He spun off and got six. He got to the 15 and got knocked down. He's short of a first down, I believe, as we're looking across the way. Jade Sellers made a heck of a run Jade out of Sellers nothing. On the it's fourth down, and let's call it two. On the fourth and the two. We're coming with a power I set. Jade Sellers on that inside slice trap, fourth and two. Fourth down and one on the Lions' 15-yard line. And they're saying fourth and one. It looks like one and a half, maybe two. Ledman hurries up to the line. Power I left. Take the ball, we run it up the middle, we got it first down. First down we hit the fullback straight up the middle. I think it was Rose. 
Rose crossed the 10, got to the nine and a half. It's first and goal to go. Barely inside of the 10. This is the red zone we hear so much about, where once you get the football in here, you want to come away with six points. Can't get a first down. It's barely inside of the 10. Power high, living and going to a lot. Rose again. We're trying to power him out of there, and we got to the seven, and he got three. Might have knocked him down on the eight. They unstack him as we were running right straight at Columbia. And this drive started on a, the 48, and it's taken about five minutes, well, four and a half minutes. The ball right now is on the seven, maybe the six-yard line. Slot. Right this time. I set. Lebanon's got six yards for a touchdown. Triplet takes it. Hand off inside. Trip straight up the middle. Touchdown. Dirksen. Right straight up the middle. Lebanon's really hammering him inside in the middle. Dirksen just went six yards and scored six to nothing. Bruce down to the field of John Bryant. Well, so much for that, <laughs> as Atwood will be on to snap it. Triplet will put it down for Presley. Snap back, placement kick, kick, line drive, kick, good. And Lebanon leads 7 to nothing. We'll come back in 30 seconds. Their initial possession of the game going 48 yards in nine plays. Zach Dirksen with the touchdown, a six-yard run. Jonathan Presley with the extra point. Lebanon leads 7 to nothing, 727 left in the first quarter. It'll be pressure to kick off. Standing deep, Rico Polk. He'll stand on the eight. Presley comes forward, kicks it long and high and deep, and it hit five yards in the end zone. Presley really leaned into that one. Now bring it out to the 20. Presley, kick goes through the end zone, touchback. So Columbia will take over, and the man to watch will be Ronnie Pilla. He's the tailback. Last year, he was a quarterback. So we'll keep an eye on him, Ronnie Pilla.